Welcome to Run All God's Children, where Jesus is the teacher. I just want to show you. This is the book that I received. And the words that was written in front of the book, as you see, I called on the Lord. And this is the book that I received. Nobody, nobody believes. He will make a believer out of you. The promise that he gave unto his children. Read for yourself. This is the last time. Oh, grandfather God. As I have said, no one believed that you are grand. Oh, Grandfather, no one believed that thy son, Lord, became the true and living word, and they teach thy children to pervert his word. And what he wrote to us is the way it is. They can't call him a lie. You gave me my testimony, and now this is the last time. Thank you, Grandfather God, and thank you, Lord Father God. I hope the children will understand this. I'm running in the race to the breath that we breathe. That laws of laws, that king of kings, Lord God Almighty. The truth that is the light that shines in everyone. I'm running in a race. I'm running to Grandfather God's Son. I showed them the books, yes, the book that I received. The books was given to me to share with all God's children. I'm running in the race to the one that's seen my tears. Pity my mom. Nobody, nobody believed in my Lord. Our God, our God, he wrote, he became the true and living word. Our God, our God, he wrote, so everyone will know. My testimony was given to me. Nobody believed. But it's time 
that everybody, everybody will know that our Lord, our God, that's all my Gave the books to me, and I'm running to the very breath that I breathe. To the grandfather God and the only son, as I told you before, He's going to get this world. And his father, our Lord God and Savior, that became the true and living word, his father told him to sit down. He's going to make this world his footstool. Ask them that's head of God's house, what is he going to do? I'm going to read it to you. Father, Lord, God's word. And I'm talking about Jesus. Welcome to runongodschildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. Lord God is the teacher. This is the last time. Lord God and our grandfather God will do what they say. Well, it's written. Psalms, the 22nd chapter, the 27th verse. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kinders of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord. And he is the governor among the nations. What make nations take God out of the nations? This is part of the gospel. What make nations take God out of nations? This is part of the gospel. Lord is governor among the nations. Not my, our. Grandfather God is governor. But Lord God, his son, is governor. All power is in Jesus' hand. Do you know Jesus is the gospel? Not only is Jesus governor, he is Lord over all kingdoms. This is how I praise my father, Lord God, and my grandfather, God. Yes, I said to my seal that God is true. This is the last time. Now you know the truth. We lie down in our shame because our confusion cover us. As it is written, we have sinned against our God. Lord God, our daddies, and our mamas, mothers, to this day, we have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, our God. Read Jeremiah, the third chapter, the 25th verse. We, do we read for ourselves? Do we learn about our Lord God? 
If you did, you would know Grandfather God is the only Father. And he is grand. We say, have Lord God. We say we have Lord God then why the world isn't better? It is written we lie down in our confusion. Would you call God a lie? That's what he wrote. Them that is head of the house of prayer lie down in their confusion. We all do. The prophet prophesies falsely. The priests bear rules by their means. And the Lord God's children love it like that. Read Jeremiah the fifth chapter, the 31st verse. Do you like it like that? The end will be like people, like priests. Jose, the fourth chapter, the ninth verse. But let me read you this proverb. The 26th chapter, the 28th verse. A lying tongue hate those that are afflicted by it. And a flattery mouth worketh ruins. People that is lying hate you. And them that is flattery use you to your ruin. Do right or wrong. Don't be tricked. Read for yourself. I know Lord God knows. You remember the government when they said lottery is going to the school. Did they use the lottery for the teachers or the schools? Lord God, holy words show us how we are and what we are like in the eyes of the Lord. Do lying be afflicting the children? What I see and hear about lies are people believing it and liking it. Yes, they lie so much they believe it. Have you read Jeremiah, the seventh chapter, the eighth verse? Behold, Ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. Yes, Lord God knows. Thinking our only grandfather God. Read for yourself. Have you read Proverbs, the ninth chapter, the tenth verse? I bring it up quite often when I come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy is understanding. Remember I told you last week about being a man? Well, how do you be a man in understanding? There's one thing that everybody needs to understand. And that is God. But I ask people, do you know what God hate? And they said, they, they don't even know what God hate. Who teaching who? But he going to teach you this time. Oh, grandfather God, I have found no one yet. Or heard none yet. Talk like they Fear your son. Lord God Almighty, now 
I ask you, Grandfather God, in the name of Lord God Almighty, do what is written. Psalms, the twenty, the ninth chapter, the twentieth verse. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Shalom. No one fear our Lord God. The teacher this time will be our Lord God. He will show and do what's written. Remember our grandfather God told his son to sit down on the grandfather's right hand until he make the enemies thy footstool? St. Matthew, the 22nd chapter, the, 20, the 44th verse. What will our grandfather God do? Ask them that's head of God's house. You cried to man and you said, give us a vaccine. But God is going to make you cry to him. Everyone. Knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess because you will know the truth. Lord is great, greatly to be praised. The Lord is to be feared above all gods. See, he know you got gods, but he's the only God. Psalms, the 96th chapter, the fourth verse. I see and hear them praise our Lord God, but not with knowledge. I have read to you, we have confusion. Lord God, no. Lord God's words show us about us. Read for yourself. Read James, the third chapter, the 16th verse. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. Oh, Grandfather God, is the name of your son, Father, Lord God? Is this the way the confusion Confusion, we are? Is this the way? And confused we are. Have mercy on us. Proverb, the first chapter, the 22nd verse. How long, you simple ones, Will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the fools hate knowledge. All Lord God's word is what we know. We are simple. We know not love is God. We think love is screwing. We say, I love you. When someone tell me they love me, I think that they trying to screw me. And I tell them that. I also tell them God is love. Read for yourself. First John, the fourth chapter, the eighth verse. He that knoweth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. How do you tell someone you love them and not talk about God? I had a man tell me, God love you. I told him, God is love. 
And the next time you'll say you love me, then you'll try to screw me. And he was a minister. Have you not heard let's make love? What do you think God know about us? We are simple. Know everything. Scorners that delight in scorning and hate knowledge. Here is something else you need to read. Read for yourself. Proverbs, the first chapter, the 31st and 32nd verse. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Have you read the revelation? This is what God knows about us. I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do. I'm not trying to tell you that there ain't no God. I'm not trying to tell you what's not written in the book. And I'm not using no parable. What else they say? Uh, uh, interpretation. Yeah, they got the interpretation, God's word. Reading the Revelation, the Revelation first chapter, the first verse, it is written, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and sanctified it by the angels unto his servant John. Now Jesus is Lord God Christ. And that will make the only grandfather God our only father. The promise is, Lord God will send someone. You know, I thought them, that is head of Lord God's house, knew about what is written. I set to my seal that God is true. Keep coming to run all God's children as soon as you start seeing them that have lying mouths that hate you, that you love. I said once before, I read, don't go to no man. If you can't trust a man, why would you go to him? I don't even try to go to myself. I go to God. The only thing that I know is what I called on and who I called on. I know he hates. Six things the Lord hates. The seventh is abomination unto him. So I came to you today in sincerity, like I always have, that I'm running in a race and I shall win and share it with all God's children. But God knows unless God's children say they are a child of God. 
there is no need for me to even think that we will be cool because I'm only cool with God's children. And not many people even come to this website, but they come. Soon as I start really telling you what's written, when he did what he did, at the same time throughout the book, even when he came, he came. Even when I read to you before there was no God formed, I am. He even told his, his servants that was ministering with him that before John, I am. Because they asked him, where you come from? Who are you? Well, he's the true and living word. And it's time for him to come back. Because nobody trusts him, nobody believe him. You always writing about him, and then it's, it's written. You honor him with their own mouths, but your heart is so far away. That's because you don't have knowledge. You need to read for yourself. Don't take nobody's word. I tell you, don't take mine. Read. But I tell you one thing. That lion tongue that hates you, you're going to see him for what he is. The ones that hate knowledge, you're going to see who they are. Y'all make fun of atheists. But the only way they can be an atheist is because they know about a God. Because that's the reason they are atheists. Because there's a God. And you say you don't believe. Well, I took a lot of your time today. It's 27 minutes and 43, 45 now seconds. Well, thank you for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. And thank you for listening to the runner. I'm the only one that's running to God, but he's going to make all y'all run. Because he promised everybody going to know him. He is Lord, Father God, Jesus Christ, and his Father. Only father is grand. And he's going to show you how grand he is because grandfather God is going to, he's going to show you. Take care of yourself and thank you for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. And he will show you better than we can read.